One of the most common triggers for binge eating and for emotional eating is a feeling of loneliness. Emotional eating, I think, is one of the most common things that I would say all people do. What can we do when we are emotionally eating? If you notice that you're not eating based on below the neck physical hunger, but rather above the neck emotional hunger, start to ask yourself, what is it that I'm hungry for? Is it companionship? Is it attention? Is it love? Is it happiness? And then ask yourself, what is a non-food activity that will give me this feeling that I'm really craving? Because when we are emotionally eating, it's not about the food, it's about the feeling that we really want. Second, if you're emotionally eating, give yourself what I call the psychological secret of support. One of the most common triggers for binge eating and for emotional eating is a feeling of loneliness. So if you are by yourself, and by the way, humans are by themselves more and more these days as the decades have progressed, give yourself some support in the form of an Overeaters Anonymous so that you always have a sponsor, somebody to call in the wee hours of the morning, connect to your friends, make plans to have dinner with other people. All of these things are gonna turn down that loneliness and you'll be far less likely to eat emotionally. Third, use the psychological secret of mindfulness. What is mindfulness? Mindfulness is paying attention to what you are doing in the present moment. That means if you're eating, you're eating. You're not eating while watching a TV show. Studies show that when people eat while they're doing things like watching movies, TV shows, or driving, you will eat way more calories than if you did something very simple, and that is eat from a plate with real utensils at a dining table. That simple tip can curb emotional eating in its tracks.